Since hockey is such a high-impact, fast-paced kinetic sport, it places a lot of challenges on us as a company to design a very high-performance stick that's also strong and durable. Based on the player feedback we were getting from the S17, it was clear that we had created a very well-performing stick that had a very quick release. But there are a few things that we wanted to improve upon there. What's different about the S19 is we've introduced a brand new layup in the shaft, and that layup center is all about durability. This is the first step where we actually cut the raw material. This is uh, carbon fiber coming off this machine behind me. This will be cut into specific pieces that are assembled into a kit that will make up the entire stick. The advantage of composite materials is it gives us the ability to design this shaft one layer at a time. Each layer defines a certain aspect of the shaft, whether it's stiffness, strength, performance, or durability. In addition to the improved stiffness profile on the shaft, we've also incorporated the dual foam core technology in the blade. And we've introduced a higher density foam in the bottom section where you come in contact with the puck, and that provides a greater sensitivity for the puck, giving you a better feel. So what we have here is a blade assembly line. Uh, the actual process is separated into different segments, and several workers will build up a blade from scratch. It's this high-density foam that gives the S19 its unparalleled feel and responsiveness. And here we have the final preform. This is fully wrapped and ready to go into the mold. You can see here, this is the nylon bladder that runs throughout the entire length of this blade. And when we inflate that with air, it consolidates all of the material inside and creates a very consistent, durable, and high-performing structure. So now that preform is ready to go into the mold. The mold is now loaded inside of this press. It's connected to the air hose, and heat is being applied to the resin system to allow it to cure and set up and attain its maximum strength and toughness. So now the curing cycle is finished on this part. From here, it's going to go into a chiller press to cool down to room temperature before we extract it from the mold. And then after that, the part is inspected for quality, sent to the assembly area where it's bonded to a shaft, and then from there, the paint decals are applied. For the S19, we basically was an evolution of the S17 stick, which is a very iconic hockey stick. So it was a real challenge from then to create something that would equal it or top it. The design process starts about one or two years prior to the release date of the stick. The marketing team looked at the future trends, the possible colors, the player feedback, and then we'll start sketching. Then we try to go on an actual stick and use masking tape in order to get a real life feeling of that stick. Here's where the paint is applied to a shaft. This shaft can be hung from these hooks. It'll automatically run back behind me through the automated painting machine. After the paint is applied to the shaft, it comes into this room where the decals are applied. It's one of the last steps in the finishing process. From here, it goes back onto the automatic painting machine for the application of clear coat and grip. And then it's off to the NHL. Now the whole idea behind Torx technology is torsional resistance for not only a greater accuracy, but also to maximize the amount of velocity that you've generated with your hands. Obviously elliptical technology gives it a, a pretty good snap. You know, a lot of pop really comes off the blade hot. 